Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the SP150 condenser microphone from Sterling Mics. Now, so more than ever, there are tons of budget condenser microphones. And years ago, condensers were expensive and they were fragile. And there was something generally you only kind of used in a studio setting. But in the last decade or two, they have become much more inexpensive and even better sounding than they used to be. So enter the Sterling microphones, uh, Ster SP1. The Sterling SP150, and it comes in this really nice blow molded case. And we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see how it sounds. So once you open up the case, you have, of course, the SP150, and it also comes with a nice shock mount case, and it even comes with a uh, with a, a non shock mount mount if you want to direct mount the mic. And at the very bottom, it also comes with extra bands in case the ones on the shock mount happen to wear out or break. That's really cool. Now I have had some Sterling microphones on this channel before and I really like them. And in the past, I actually ended up using them for vocal work, voiceover stuff, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm curious to see how the SP150 holds up to those. The SP150 is a large diaphragm studio condenser microphone with a class A FET design and 136 dB limit, which is a lot of volume. I can really take it. So first I'm gonna see how this sounds on my voice. And uh, I got a microphone stand, so I'm going to hook this up and then we're gonna switch over to the SP150. Okay, so this is the SP150 going directly into my Universal Audio Apollo interface. I am using a Neve a Unison preamp, a microphone preamp, and it uh, has phantom power engaged, but otherwise I am not doing any more processing to the microphone. And I guess that's pretty good. Uh, this mic is like $75 and I think it's a really good bang for the bucket, especially for voice over work. This sounds, this sounds pretty good. I can get right up on it and I can just, that's pretty good, right? I like how I can kind of get back from it and get on it and it maintains a nice tone and it doesn't pick up too much of the room if I don't really want it to. Um, I think next I should probably try it on an acoustic guitar. If you are looking for an affordable condenser microphone to do many things, definitely consider the Sterling SP150 at 75 to $80. It's really a jack of all trades. It's good on acoustic guitars. It'd be great for podcasting, miking up a drum kit or a guitar cab or many more uses. And at 136 dB, it can definitely handle the sound pressure. All applicable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.